Hi guys. I just arrived at the parking lot for the new school that I'm transferring to for my bachelor's degree. And so let me tell you a really quick story. Um, the last time I was at a four year university to go back to school was 2014. And it was a place called Salem State. And me thinking that I knew everything, I decided that I was gonna go to a place for computer science and it was a four year degree and me being out of the loop for about 10 years, uh, I thought I had everything in check and I all showed up to the orientation. I was all proud and happy, got a sweater. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna to totally kick ass. And that was so far from the truth. Once I started going to all the classes, I felt that I was very overwhelmed with what actually was bestowed upon me with uh, computer science being my degree. So I had so many things that I was not accustomed to. One be it that programming, the other being statistics, but everything else was somewhat manageable. Uh, so I felt more or less that I was in a sinking ship because I just noticed that somebody was behind me, following me. That was uh, a little creepy, but anyway. The fact that A, I was worried about not doing well, B, the military was paying for me, but that was beside any hesitation I had because the true thing is, the military gives me a basic allowance for housing because I haven't had a full-time job to afford paying for things. And I was in a screwed up relationship and you know, I had to contribute. And my then girlfriend decided that we are going to move to an actual apartment and use the basic allowance for housing that I was receiving that was supposed to be being paid to my uh, car and insurance and whatnot. Also, we decided to get a dog, which was more responsibility, and I wasn't doing well. And I was uh, anticipating, uh, unfortunately, failing, or more or less dropping below the required 2.2 GPA that, um, according to the rules, that was the threshold where I should not drop past or um, I would not receive any money from the military to live on. And I, I racked my brain. I didn't sleep. I didn't eat. I spent a lot of time at school trying to study and nothing seemed to stick inside my head. And it was really, really uncomfortable. And I had my girlfriend then say, why don't you just quit? and just take care of everything at home. So she pretty much had no confidence in me. So it, it was pretty defeating. Um, so I, I, I left at the end of the semester, surviving more or less, after losing about 60 pounds um, with a 1.8 GPA, which was horrible. But then um, before the end of the semester, actually during the class, well, during one of my classes, I actually signed up for North Shore Community College, which is close to me. And I had a great mentor named Sandy Fuse, who was able to help me get into all these classes and help me to get where I am today. And that class, those, that college was perfectly my speed and it was exactly what I want. And it was exactly the opposite of what my then girlfriend wanted because she didn't believe that I should choose a, a design like that she wanted a design she wanted me to get a degree or certificate that brought her money that gave her a better quality of life and screw me so um now uh i'm like a week away from graduating with my associate degree in graphic design which is like a marketing hybrid and uh i'm standing in front of the hall where I'm going to attend another registration. Um, I am not that wide-eyed, bushy-tailed guy that's ready and is going to buy a sweater. I'm very hesitant and I'm a little scared, but I should be okay. I just know what to anticipate, but I don't want to get overwhelmed and it, it's scary. So, uh, I don't know what to say. 
uh, I will do my best and I may follow up with you guys um, with a uh, live stream to talk about how it went um, but my hesitations are, are pretty high so hopefully I'm in the right here it says uh, it's called only hall and I had to go to like a room called 150 so that's my location guys don't please don't come visit me but that's it all right Taka signing off and for God's sakes, I will take care of myself and you do the same.